If I haven't met you yet, hello! My name is Amy and I am the founder and co-collaborator for a community called Social Creative Workshops. Social Creative Workshops was started about three years ago and the idea was to gather women together. I noticed that something happens when women are gathered around a table and we start working with our hands, relationship and conversation starts to ensue. And I love that. I want more of that. So Social Creative's primary foundation is truly based on gathering people, celebrating creativity, and cultivating relationship. So thank you for um, joining along as we do that virtually in this new space. Time. We're going through something incredibly new to every human on this earth um, with a crisis that we're sitting in the middle of. And it's caused a lot of us creatives to have to pivot and figure out new ways of doing things. Um, if I had it my way every day, you and I would be face to face. I think there's something so valuable and important about being face to face at a table and really engaging in connection and community, but aren't able to do that. And so virtually is the next best thing. What I wanna tell you about this virtual space is that it is not firsthand knowledge for me. So I thought the best way to do it was really just to be completely honest with you and take you into my space the way it looks now. Here's the way it looks now. I have three kids at home. I'm homeschooling. I'm also having a deep welling up of, I want to create something. I want to have something of my own. I want to develop and I want to use my mind creatively. Um, and how can I do that? So, um, so I am not an instructor by trade. I am the person who works behind the scenes. I am about engaging people and really um, forging connections between small businesses in in our you know local area and um, and people and people. If you want formal instruction, I invite you to come to one of our workshops. Get the teaching that they can provide because they truly are known in the industry for what they do and there's a really good reason why they're very good at it so i am going to do my best to just kind of talk to you one-on-one -on -one about what i have picked up what i how i like to do things and um you know we're coming into um easter time and it's a time also when there's things that are blooming outside and some, you know, rhubarb is starting to come up in April and, and those kind of things. So I thought to myself, what can I share with people? And what I wanted to share are some of the things that we do for Easter, um, specifically around food and the What we're gonna do over the course of this video is three different things. First, we're going to do deviled eggs. This is like almost an Easter staple. You're gonna do an Easter egg hunt. You can use those eggs. A way we're going to elevate that is by doing pickled beet deviled eggs. Such a beautiful way to take grandma, you know, I don't know, don't mess with grandma's recipe. That's a no-no. A standard recipe for deviled eggs and then take it up one notch. So another way to do that is, um, by a cocktail. I love, my husband and I both love cocktails. It's such a fun way to have a special occasion beverage. So whether you wanna do a mocktail or a cocktail, we are going to be working with rhubarb. April is rhubarb season. It's when it comes out and it's such, has such beautiful flavor and it has such beautiful color. So I really want to incorporate that in. So we're going to be making um, some rhubarb simple syrup and using it two different ways. We're going to go through a mocktail, a cocktail, actually two different kind of cocktails because sometimes bubbles are really nice. 
Um, so we'll look at doing that and then maybe elevating it by taking that rhubarb and charring it over hot coals to give it a new flavor. Then we are going to focus on the table. We're gonna be looking at some design elements that really can um, make your table special for this Easter. If you're celebrating it with family, if you're Zooming in other people on a Zoom call, you know, something to make it extraordinary and different from the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday that you've already had. Let's let's make it special. We're in a really hard time and I think bringing someone around the table with a specially set table makes it really um, rememberable. So we're going to play with different linens. We're going to play with some different place settings, how to do flowers. We're gonna forage from our own backyard and put together what we have. Because honestly, right now, it's all about what you have on hand. So that's what we're really gonna focus on. You probably won't have to make special trips to the grocery store. Someone you know could be growing rhubarb and you could borrow some, or you need to get that on the order right away. So let's dive in. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for giving me grace in how the video comes out. And um, I just, I look forward to hanging out with you. I really look forward to meeting you in person someday. And I hope we'll be able to do that. All right, let's get started.